Hello everybody, Zach here, and welcome to American Truck Simulator. Long awaited um, for me, I played ETS a while back, and ETS multiplayer as well, so I am excited to debut American Truck Sim on the channel now. Um, tell me if you guys enjoy this video, tell me if you want to see more, I plan on making this a series, we'll see how it goes, I also intend to do multiplayer as well. Um, so I intend to, I actually hopped in uh, last night with bugs for a little bit and did some ATS multiplayer to get, you know, kind of a feel for things, um, as well as I've played a little bit already inside of this doing, um, you know, doing some jobs. I don't have a truck yet that I've purchased, still making money. I don't want to go, you know, completely into debt by having a truck and having a fleet, but... Uh, yeah, let me know what you, what truck you would pick. I, I kind of like all of the trucks in the game so far, so I enjoy them all. I really like how this Peterbilt looks, as well as like I might get like a Peterbilt that's just like a day cab, um, because it's pretty uh, maneuverable and it's small and all that stuff. So we'll have to see uh, where it goes from here. But I actually too wanted to thank, and you'll know who you are. Uh, somebody that actually doesn't comment and I actually asked if they would be okay if I dropped their first name for this um, His name is Rick and I'm not going to go into much personal details, but he bought me a g29 and I couldn't be more thankful to him. That's Insane it took me it caught me off guard um, I told him I wouldn't go into any personal details and he really didn't want me to but it, insane gift um, from an awesome dedicated fan and uh, yeah it's insane also too right before we get out here thank you for a hundred thousand subscribers YouTube did a purge and they purged like all these old inactive accounts so they got it actually I dropped below a hundred thousand but should be back up above a hundred thousand here shortly um, and I appreciate every one of you that is a fan has been a long, around for a long time as well as uh, hopefully if you're a new person person to the channel you're enjoying the content and 100,000 is you know it's just a number but it's definitely a milestone for me and I, I really appreciate everybody that's helped to make it happen up to this point so let's go ahead let's go ahead to the job market here and take a job um I have it sorted by price per distance here so we're getting like the most you know the highest ones here first essentially i'm actually not going to take something as heavy i could take a digger 500 that's not bad and that's with the uh, kenworth uh, day cab um i kind of want to see where these go to and see how long of a drive i want to take you know what this tractor let's do this it's a kenworth t680 duty day cab and we're going from carlsbad to huron i think i'm saying that right um so let's go ahead and take that all right, so we are in our Kenworth here. I'm going to toggle. Well, everything should be set up pretty good, but I'm going to toggle that to off. I'm going to start my truck here. I am using my G29. I currently only have the wheel and pedals. Um, again, still very, oops, sorry about that. Still very appreciative of that fact. Um, I just have to, I'm going to end up picking up a shifter. For now, I'm going to use real automatic um, because I feel like that's going to be the most accurate thing in, in, in a lot of trucks today is going to be real automatic. So I'm going to use that until I get a shifter. I was trying to use sequential last night and it's just it's a pain. Plus, you'll hear all the click clicks of the of the flappy paddles, what have you. So, we've got our tractor here. That looks awesome. Look at that. That is sick. All in essentially a John Deere. Let's be honest. That color scheme is, yeah, it's supposed to make you think it's a John Deere. So, let's get in here. Let's set up all our stuff. Um, we'll bring up the cruise control panel uh, if we end up setting cruise control. And let's go ahead. I mean, you will hear the, you, I will say this. You will hear the clicks of, of me going to shift in the first place, but you like, you know, getting into drive and what have you. But other than that, you shouldn't hear um, much noise from my wheel. This is actually a pretty quiet wheel. Definitely coming from my old wheel. It's been a while since I actually used it. The old wheel was actually a Driving Force GT Pro that was formerly Bugs wheel. And that thing was a dying cat uh sounding thing when i when i would when i would use that it would 
the the motors inside so it's pretty freaking horrible but let's go ahead get out here hopefully i'm taking a wide enough turn there i should have adjusted my seat but uh we'll see if i need to adjust my seat down the road here man you can definitely feel the weight of this tractor um speed limit here is 55 i don't know if that's necessarily safe for how curvy this road is we'll take it safe and keep it keep it kind of under 40 plus these turns too like there's a police officer how you doing and i see i took that really wide luckily there was no car there there's a truck here could honk at him oh nope that was just me flashing my lights I'll turn on my um oh he kind of like got off to the side for me i don't know if that was intentional or that was that road how that road's just laid out but that was pretty cool if that was intentional so yeah, very much so impressed with ATS um, so far. The overall feel they've just kind of nailed of America. Now, right now, it's just California and... Oh, is this person passing me? I think they are. They're like, this guy's going too damn slow. Um, which I kind of understand. I'm doing like 35, 40, and a 55. But I also don't want to tip over and die. Uh... <laughs> But yeah, they've just nailed the overall aesthetic of California and a lot of these areas and these roads. Um, Bug said it's pretty surreal to see a lot of these areas and how accurate they are. Now, everything's not going to be perfect. This is There's not a lot of roads that are going to be modeled and what have you, but uh, California and Nevada so far, and I'm definitely looking forward to as they go across the country we get more and more states and there's it's very long term to get out to for instance the east coast but I, I couldn't be more excited i couldn't be more excited for that okay so we're coming up here on where we actually need to turn or start applying the, the brakes here because yeah because yeah <laughs> because we're in a big tractor trailer and we would prefer not to really should have braked earlier oh my gosh yeah like i'm oof that was that was rough. Oh great! So we've got a highway here that we've got to pretty much hop onto with us, and we're using a stop sign. This is going to be pretty fantastic. Um, I'm very tempted to turn right, but I don't know where the nearest. I don't know where the nearest exit is. This is going to be horrible. I'm just going to have to go at one point. Oh, we got a tractor trailer over here. This has to be the worst intersection ever that I could have started with. Like, oh, it's nice. It's nice to see so much traffic, though. Even though I'm gonna, I'm about to complain about. Oh, of course, traffic breaks there, and I've got a big tractor trailer in front of me here. Oh, he's going. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. I realize this car is like, uh, I wanna go. But I'm about to say, like, I don't care because I need to get through this intersection where there's, like, no traffic. <laughs> All right. Turn signal went off. Let's reset our camera here. So, yeah, like I said, very awesome. Uh, very awesome job so far. Very impressed with what I'm seeing. Reset our camera. Uh, and, yeah, just overall the feel of the trucks and how they're set up. And, I mean, it is... It was, in my opinion, well worth the wait. Um, actually, too wanted to play this pretty much right when it came out, but like I said, that that old wheel is just it just doesn't do it anymore. And every you would hear every little thing on the mic, and every time that the motor would do its job. So, hopefully, this one's a little bit better for you listening to this video. Yeah, we're just going to pretty much cruise on the highway here. I'm going to set my cruise control, which which that's the horn. Um, I'm going to set my cruise control, which actually, that's lights. Which I don't remember what the button is. <laughs> oh, no, pointless to set my cruise control since i got to turn up here at this light. All right. At this light, right? It's got straight air. Oh, okay. It bears, it has a, it bears to the right here, too. So, there we go. Oh, got to lay on the brakes there. Okay, we got a red light. Let's make sure there's no traffic. Uh, we got traffic turning left here. It looks like a Dodge Magnum, essentially, and a... No, you don't have to let me go. Okay. Well, I guess they're letting me go because I was sticking out enough. That's m kind of my bad, but at the same time, I didn't expect them to let me go, so... Make sure I got that turn there. 
Yeah, that's the thing too. These longer trailers, I will, I will be. I'm very grateful that these roads are much larger. That was the problem when we did drive modded American trucks inside of ETS is that the roads were not necessarily set up to handle trucks and trailers that were so large. Um, so luckily these roads are very large for the most part and they support, um, you know, the real trucking because that's what this is. <laughs> I'm saying it like, I mean, it is, it is 100% a statement and it's how this game was made. Um, Plaster and Sons, there it is. But yeah, I intend on... I'm, do, I'm going over the speed limit right now. I did not realize it's 30 through here, and I was doing almost 40. I'm going to try to do 35. What's going on, buddy? Still don't remember how to set my cruise control. That's horn. Oh, cruise control's up on my D-pad. That's the... You know, that is... I will say, too, that is the benefit of one of these wheels that's that has all these buttons on it, um, is that I can... I can Put a lot of stuff on the wheel and then not worry about having to use the keyboard or mouse i'm using the mouse right now to move the camera around kind of because that's kind of what's easiest right now um intend on getting a shifter and then hopefully it'll be a little bit actually easier than to to actually set the camera and move the camera around and what have you uh but let's see I'm, i think i'm okay i just want to make sure i actually made that turn but i don't think i have any any problems making that turn Oh shoot, we're merging on the highway and this like on-ramp is like nothing. I apologize to that truck, that was really my bad. I'm trying to get an angle on that truck. Man, it's so loud when you go to outside camera. That truck dropped back because it was like, um, yeah, he's coming out and I've got to give him space. <laughs> so we're going to get up here to 55 and then we're going to set our cruise controls because I think we've got a little bit of highway here to just kind of cruise along. Cruise control, hence the name, right? Oh, there we go. Yeah, 56. Actually, let's set it to 55. There we go. Beautiful. So I can just sit in cruise control here and cruise with you guys. Um, just trying to th talk about other things I want. I want to do uh, potentially next week a live stream of this. Um, that's one of my things for 100K. I plan on doing a couple different things. Uh, tell me in the comments if you want to see a Q&A for 100K. I have not done a Q&A in a while. I think it's... I'm not say long overdue, but I would definitely be interested in doing a Q&A. Um, as well as, oh, look at that old car. Oh, that is awesome. And I know, like, all those cars, they don't have brands and stuff, but you can just recognize, like, a lot of the brands because they're close enough. That looks so freaking cool. So cool. Um, sorry for getting distracted. That's just what's going to happen in a game like this. We've got essentially, like, a Toyota passing us, or a Honda, or Acura. Generic enough. Oh, we know what that is. Go to old Prius. So, uh, I'm just talking about the cars right now. Mercedes wagon. Nice. So, yeah, tell me if you guys want to see a Q&A or there's any type of, you know, games you want live streamed. I might do an LSPDFR live stream. Um, maybe an SAPDFR live stream if I can get uh, the guys around to do that. And, and some maybe just some longer, like I said before, some longer form videos. Um, some of these ETS, or ATS, man, it's so hard to, it's going to be hard to break that, even though I haven't played ETS in a while. Some of these ATS videos are actually going to be potentially longer. Um, sometimes I might, I might break them up. It, it all depends on how interesting I feel it's going, how ridiculous the events we get into. This has actually been pretty comfortable so far. Um... I don't have a retarder, so I'm going a little bit faster than 55 there, but that's fine. I just got to watch my speed around cops. I don't, I haven't seen any cops other than those driving on the road so far, but um, yeah, we're doing a little bit faster, but we should get caught up here shortly. Get back on the gas. There we go. So yeah. So again, to tell me if you like ATS, tell me what you want to see in ATS. I'm going to look at the mod support too for ATS to see what I can do to make the game better. I mean, that's the thing though. Looking at this game just vanilla is insane. It's ETS in America and that is a great thing. And they've made improvements on a lot of ETS that have been... Uh, oh, you can see a cop over there on the side of the road. A lot of... What happened? Oh, shoot. Way station pipe. It's red. I don't know what that means. I have to pull... It says please pull in. Oops, I just shifted to neutral. That was my bad. It was habit. Oop, just turn on my turn signal too. Okay, we gotta pull into a way station here and get ourselves inspected. We are loaded. Fully loaded. 
All right, let's slow down here. See, this is something that we used to have. Oof. Oh, I don't want to say we used to have, but what do I need to do? Stop the truck? Okay, enter. Thank you for cooperation. Okay, that seemed unnecessary. Um, this is something that a lot of, I think we used to have, and we don't really have in Pennsylvania anymore. We used to have way stations. Um, it's not something that really exists anymore. They're, I mean, they're still there, but they're most of them are closed or not used, and I don't know if that's something we just did at one point, but, ooh, I should stop because there's traffic, and is that a Tesla? That is a Tesla. Nice. Essentially a Tesla. Oh, I should get going. Nope. Not enough time. Man, that's gotta be hard for for, for truckers in real life to, to kind of gauge when they need to go, how much weight they've got going. I'm kind of drifting back too, because this is like on an incline. It's kind of a bunch of different stuff that you gotta balance that I can't imagine balancing in real life. Come on, traffic. Oh, nice post ad FedEx truck. A lot of amazing looking trucks out here. I will say that. Come on, somebody. Somebody give me a gap. Ooh, I'm going to speed up in front of this truck right here. Not this van, but this truck. There we go. Sorry about that, buddy. I've just been waiting for a while and I need to get out of here. He's probably like, come on, get going. He's like, this guy's probably got an automatic truck. <laughs> And I'd be like, yes, yes, I do. Sorry about that. I'm talking over the CB. Way station, exit one mile. Well, I already went, I already got weighed, okay? Don't need to get weighed again. Unless I do, which that would be stupid. That'd be really stupid. Better not have to get weighed again. I don't think I do. Oh, is that a way station slash... Oh, that's like a gas station and like a rest stop. There might be a way station there too. I don't I don't necessarily know. Oh no, this guy's doing what I was doing earlier. Pulling out in front and he's like, oh no. And I gotta freaking oh I gotta break, break, break. I'll say this, there's a lot of feedback in the brake pedal on the G29 uh, controller. Like a lot of like there's it's very springy. I actually again talked to Bugs about it and Bugs was like, well, one of the modifications a lot of people did for the G27 was it would add a spring to the brake pedal because the brake pedal was just nothing. And that's the same with my G, my G GT driving force, GT Pro, whatever the hell I had. Um, <laughs> that had like a brake pedal that was just like using any other, like it was like the gas pedal essentially. They were the same, same pedals essentially and they had no feedback. So it's nice to have, oh, I'm drifting back a little bit. No, my truck stalled. That's not good. That's not good at all. Oh man, I'm bogging my truck down. I stalled. How do I stall an automatic truck? How does that even work? Okay, no traffic there. Gotta wait for traffic this way. Okay, get on the gas here. Oh, sorry, dude. Who's that? That is that just a Mustang. Mustang convertible. Nice Mustang. Um, but yeah, I, I don't know how I stalled an automatic truck. But I did. Great job by me, right? Can I just turn here? There's no stop sign. Oh, yep, there's no nobody coming on that road. Okay. Let's turn here. Took it a little bit wider than I probably had to, but should be fine. So yeah. Um I remember last time I actually trucked was in GTA 5. And that sounds really funny, but I enjoyed doing that. It was actually I had I had more of a deep conversation than, than what I thought I would in that, um, and that's what's going to probably end up happening in this series too. To be honest, um, I tend to talk and lay a lot of stuff out on the table. Oh, we discovered her on on like when you tend to drive because like I just tend to talk about talk about stuff at great dis or at great length. So look forward to that if you if definitely if you like that. Um, I know a lot of people did like ETS and the talks that we kind of all had. Excuse me, on ETS. So let's try to do the where do you need it? All right, let's try to do the loading ourselves. Hmm. Trying to think of what angle I need to attack this at, you know what I mean? Like, can I just... Here, let's do it this way. This is two stars, so it shouldn't be too hard, I guess, right? Is that what it's saying? Like, that's like, to skip, do this. 
I'm gonna pull around here and I'm gonna pull for come on come on come on come on got a lot of vibration in my wheel right now <laughs> all right I'm also gonna cheat here I'm gonna put my I'm gonna go into external cam and then I'm gonna put it in reverse and I'm gonna put my wheels like this so I can then back it up like this this is not gonna work the first time more than likely because look at the angle that I'm at Okay, perfect. I, per I parked it over here for you guys. <laughs> oh, that was my bad. Sorry. Okay, I'm going to pull forward here. Oh, that's neutral. I'm going to pull forward. Come on, let's go. Should be a little bit easier this time. I'm going to pull it over here. And then I'm going to put on the brakes before I hit that. Okay. All right. And then we're going to just walk it back in. Walk it back. It might be actually easier in first person. Because this is actually making, I feel, maybe potentially making it more difficult than what it is. Sorry for people that are actually good at backing stuff into this game. I'm also very um, uh, rusty. Also very rusty. So that doesn't, that does not help at all. Here, you know what? Let's pull it over here and then just do it. Do it, not all over again, but... Hey, who wanted five minutes of me trying to back this trailer up? <laughs> um, <laughs> let's go ahead and try to do this. No, I don't want to skip parking. I get it. I'm taking a long time. Some guy's out there. Hey, you want me to park that truck for you? Hey, hey, I can park the truck for you. Hey, yeah, me. Yeah, me, me. Me, I can park it. And I'm like, no, I've got it, dude. It's just give me a second. There we don't be this picky. Oh, I'll be so upset if it's this picky. Oh, there we go. Whew. All right. Disconnecting the trailer, and we got an excellent job completed. There we go. See, that actually wasn't too bad other than the parking, which I definitely need to work on. Still a level two newbie. And that was that. Um, if you guys enjoyed, come along for the ride, and you in are going to enjoy future ATS episodes, please let me know in the comments and also by liking, subscribing, of course, helps me out and I appreciate it. Uh, also too, uh, did last week, start a Patreon campaign. If you want to donate, you can do it via that. I created another tier that I'm actually going to do, going to do decals for. So if you donate to that, um, that tier, you're actually uh, get de decals sent to you by me. Um, and maybe some other cool stuff. So yeah, until next time, maybe maybe even an, an ATS multiplayer here in the new f near future. Uh, but yeah, until next time, I'll see you guys later. Bye.